Have you ever wondered while playing Xenoverse 2 why it seems like you're getting hit by the air? Literally like your opponent is not actually hitting you but you're actually getting hit still? Well, in today's video we might actually have an explanation as to why this happens on this game. Now I want to give a shout out to the homie Reachow because Reachow is like the first person I saw in this community using this program. I believe this program was made by Lazy Bones. Now I personally want to understand and learn how to use this program so I can find out some more crazy wonky stuff like what you guys will see in this video right here when it comes to the hitboxes of characters in Xenoverse 2. Now as you guys can see right here, this is the first one I want to take a look at. It says the hitbox for DBS Broly's back hit. And essentially guys, what a hitbox means is anything within this box, if anything touches this box in this range, right? Like if your CAC is literally right here on the edge of this box in terms of range, he will get hit by this skill. So the hitbox again is basically how much range a certain attack has or uh like yeah range is definitely the right word for how much an attack has in certain games now all fighting games usually do have this kind of information it's just a game like xenoverse 2 usually you don't see that in anime arenas this is more something you see in true fgc 2d fighting games but the fact that we now have access to something like this in xenoverse we can truly see how crazy some of these hitboxes are and i mean look at this nonsense with broly's back hit look how massive this hitbox is like it's literally the width of like three Broly's. You could literally probably fit three Broly's into this box right here, and they still would all be in range to get hit. That is how insane this hitbox truly is. So, if you ever felt like you got away from Broly's back hit and it shouldn't have hit you, well, this is why you were actually getting hit on Xenoverse 2. And there are others that he showcased as well. The one that I really want to take a look at is this one right here that shows Bardock, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and regular goku guys you can see the major like look at that everyone knows goku's reach on this game is insane base goku at the very least and like super saiyan blue god goku all the characters that follow that same combo line right well this is exactly why people feel the reach is absolutely ridiculous i mean look at this do you see that hitbox do you see it's literally like if his arm more than doubled because right from here to here is not as much from here all the way over here so his arm is literally doubling in length when it comes to his hitbox more than doubling in length when it comes to this man's hitbox which is absolutely insane without a doubt now i will say the homie cruz did make somewhat of a good point saying that some of these hitboxes do need to be a little bit bigger because of how Xenoverse is with all the movement and things along those lines, which I understand. But then there are some hitboxes that are just absolutely busted, like this one right here, like the Broly one that we saw before. I mean, come on. By the way, it is Reach Child's birthday. I did send him a DM. Be sure to show him some love for his birthday at the same time, guys. He does a lot for the community. So again, show him some love, not only for what he does, but it is his birthday, like you guys just saw with the balloons. But back to this. Like I said, with Goku's hitbox, then you look at a hitbox like DBS Broly's back hit, they're just, it, 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 it's, it's very explained. It's all I can really say at the end of the day. It really explains a lot when it comes to this game. Now, this is something that I find very, very interesting at the same time because it is literally the same back hit. Majin Buu and the Buu CAC, if you ever have played both of these, you have noticed that they have legit the same exact back hit. But look at the hitbox on this Buu. And then look at the hitbox on the CAC. What? Hello? That is kind of insane. I don't know why they would do that necessarily, considering, again, it's essentially, it's literally the same attack. Like, it is the same attack animation, all things like that. So why change the hitbox so drastically between the CAC and Majin Buu? Now, the last one that he has showcased on his Twitter is one of the male sand CA or male earthling CAC hitbox. Honestly, nothing really crazy here. This is how most hitboxes in my mind, like this one and this one is Super Saiyan 4, Goku or Bardock, as well as another good example. This is more how hitboxes in my mind in a game like Xenoverse should work. Yes, they're a little bit more than what actually is there. Like it's a little bit further in length than the CAC's arm or Bardock's arm. But again, like the homie crew said, sometimes that is necessary in a game like this considering how the movement is. It's just some of the hitboxes like 
like Goku's, not this Goku, because that's actually not that bad right there, but this Goku that just go to a whole nother level and really make you start feeling like you're getting hit when you're actually not supposed to be or you feel like you're not supposed to be at the very least. So again, some of the hitboxes are completely fine. Like I said, with the male Earthling, the Bardock one, the Super Saiyan 4, Goku one, I think hitboxes like those are more in line with how hitboxes should be on a game like this. But at the same time, there are other hitboxes like this Goku one, like the Broly back hit one, like the cooler knee one, which I'm putting up on the screen for you guys right now. This cooler knee hitbox is insanity. Do you see this? Do you see how far it extends out from his knee? I'm sure a lot of you guys have felt when you're playing against this uh, character in cooler and when he gets to that part of the knee combo, like it just looks weird because you're so far away from him when that knee actually connects and he's driving you the whole time. Like he's pushing you back with that knee. It's part of the combo animation, right? And you're like this far from the actual character. It's kind of insane, but that is due to the crazy hitbox that you see on the screen. So again, some of the hitboxes on this game definitely need to be nerfed if this was anything that they ever planned on addressing which i highly doubt since it never has been addressed up until this point in time but let's be real some of these boxes definitely need a nerf and they need to be shrinked down because they're a little bit ridiculous like i said with the broly back hit the goku of uh, uh light light attack and then the um the cooler knee just absolutely insane and i'm sure there's a lot more on this game that are like that so if you guys would like me to download this program figure out how this program works and do a full-on video showcasing a bunch of different hitboxes things like that let me know down below in the comments because again when you see this stuff for the very first time as a xenoverse 2 player it's like hello this really explains a lot this explains why i felt a lot when playing a base goku or a super saiyan blue goku like i'm getting hit from five feet away well again it explains why maybe it's not the actual lag and hit detection of this game but these crazy ass hitboxes and i will say it's actually probably a combination of both of those things to be honest with you guys but at the same time again these hitboxes are definitely crazy without a doubt so let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comments because when i first saw this i was definitely shocked like i was like damn this, this, this my, my first thing that came out of my mouth was damn this really explains a lot because it does. It truly does. So again, let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comments. Shout out to homie Reach Out, not only for putting this out there for the community, but again, it is the homie's birthday. Go show him some love. Give him some birthday wishes, all things like that. His Twitter is linked down below in the description. But till next time, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and as always, hope you have a good one. Peace, y'all.